I get more about the verse. Philippians. <laughs> Woo. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I am full of. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Sabi po dyan, di ba? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Sa Tagalog po, kaya kong gawin ano mong bagay sa pamamagitan ng Kristo na nagpapalakas ating kapatid. Ano ang pinagdadaan mo ngayon? Nahihirapan ka ba? Nalulong po ka ba? Nalulong ba ka ba? Hinaharap-harap mo ba yung mission mo? Yung purpose mo sa iyong buhay? So parang parang cloudy siya. Well, ito sa isang ni Lord sa iyo. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen po ba? Woo! With that being said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, kung babasahin po natin yung previous verses pa, before this one, di ba yung context po nito, si Apostle po na nagsulat nito, ng Philippians po, sabi po niya, di ba, na wala yung during times of uh, in need, or in uh, times of need, in times of plenty, di ba, that he's learned how to be content. Contento po ang kanyang puso. At sabi niya, di ba, mahirap ka, di ba, maging contento, no? Kung may mga pagsubok, pero kaya, kaya po sumulit po yung verse nito na, I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. Hmm, pili ko hindi pa na tayo, nag-take off na tayo. Meron pa akong ilang points, pero pili ko hindi lang kung maging na tayo pa. Step one muna tayo, eto na po, eto na po, eto na po. Step one, point number one. Ayan. Point number one. The potential of a thing is related to its source. The potential of a thing is related to its source. Bibigyan mo po kayo ng halimbawa. Iba po sa kotse. Sinag-drive po dito po, no? Now, ito yung mga kotse ito has been designed. Hindi isenyo po ito ng mga dumikha sa kotse. Alam po nila yung certain, uh, yung, ano po nga? Uh, yung capacity po niya, yung miles na tatapo niya, yung speed niya, etc. Di ba po? Kapag sinabi niya, this car can run at this speed, di ba po? It's because, the source yung nag-manufacture po nun created it in such a way na kapag tinrive mo siya, you can drive it according to what the manufacturer said. Ito yung kanyang maximum level. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung ikaw ay ikaw binibiliyayaan po ni Lord isang magandang kotse, di ba, kung ikaw ay nag-drive na napakabagal, ibig sabihin, hindi mo pa na utilize o nagagamit ng buong buo yung capacity ng kotse iyon. Okay, another example sa'yo, paano pa kami medyo mas muda yung uh, mga ideya? Cell phone. Okay, kung kayo po ay may cell phone, ang cell phone po kasi nowadays, like smartphones, iPhones, Samsung, Apple, ayan po, no? Ayan po ay may iba't ibang capacity. Usually, when we say cell phone, mga kaibigan, ang pwede mong basic mong mga gamit siya na iwag. Ang tawag, tama po ba? Ang tawag at ang text. Ayan po ang basic na paggamit sa cellphone. Pero mga kapatid, marami pa pong pwede gamitin sa cellphone. As a matter of fact, ito po ang natry ko. Alam mo po ba, na kapag ikaw ay tulad ko, na minsan magkatrabal sa ito, diba? You can work using your cellphone. As a matter of fact, some phones like the Samsung, for example, I mean, tinatawag na feature called Samsung Dex. Tama po, no? Na if you plug it into a monitor or whatever, diba? Or actually, if you press that button, Ibig sabihin, magiging parang alam, PC style siya. Ibig sabihin, yung mga cellphone pala natin ay may capacity na maging alam computer. Ibig sabihin, kung gusto mo mag-email, okay? Kung gusto mo mag-edit ang videos, pwede yun ang mong gamitin ang inyong cellphone. So, here's the thing. Whatever cellphone you have, look at the box. Look at the instructor's manual. At tingnan niyo po kung alam siya sa amin mo na anong kapasitong din ang iyong cellphone. Now, whatever it says there, that it is, kunyari, pwede mong palang ibang swimming, pwede go into, go to the beach, mag-text ka, ano nang ano. O kaya, gusto mo mag-dive, mag-dive ka, yung video mo yung pag-scorpling mo dyan. Kasi sa amin mo, that phone is IP, whatever, IP, whatever, whatever, diba? Waterproof, etc. Some watches, diba, have been designed, like the Rolex, the Mariner, or whatever. You know, kapag nag-dive ka, diba? Waterproof. So go ahead, but type that using your watch. Now, not all watches are created equal. Not all watches are waterproof, for example. So, tinan natin yung instructor's manual. Ano ba talaga yung sinasabi ng capacity? 
the passive po nito na if you discover it, gamitin mo na lang todo, todo. Sabi niyo po, todo, todo. Todo, todo. todo, todo. todo, todo. Now here's the thing for you, ba? Tinigamit niyo po ba ang iyong capacity ng todo, todo? Ay, ano ang hindi yata. Tama po ba? Because hindi pa po natin nabubuksan ang lubusan ng ating Biblia, hindi pa natin tuloy ang lubusan na nidiscover yung sinasabi ni Lord about our potential. Now, you might be wondering, para po sa mga hindi, uh, sa may sa English po, no? Potential. Ano ba yung potential? Ito yung ability mo na gawin ang isang bagay. Iyan po kasi sabi ng paten- potential. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi mo pa siya nagagawa, pero kaya mo gawin. Amen po ba? Halimbawa, ako, wala pa akong anak, pero alam ko na may potential ako maging patay. Amen? Naniniwala ko, in the future, I will be a dad. So I am not a father, but I have the potential, the capacity, the ability to become a father someday. Because why? Meron po akong kakayahan na mag-care, mag-provide. Alam ko po in myself that God has given me that desire to nurture, to kaya ngayon lahat mga ginagawa ko in my life. I have this mindset now na ipapasok ko someday sa anak ko in Jesus' name. Ganyan po ang level ang mindset po natin ngayon. That is your potential, mga kaibigan ha? Amen. So remember, the potential of a thing is related to its source. Now, what is our source or who is our source? The Bible is very clear. Our Maker. Ang tagapagilitha po natin, mga kaibigan, ay wala ni ba po kundi ang ating Diyos. Amen po ba? So kung gusto niyo pong ang full measure ng iyong capacity, please, I challenge you, I encourage you, crack open your Bibles. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. So context to me, you can be content whatever situation you're in, but you can apply that principle in whatever spheres that you buhay. Di ba? Whatever you're going through, kano bang yan kahirap, you can do it through Christ who strengthens you. Take note of that adjective. Uh, can we go back to the verse of scripture? Take note of that phrase, ha? Through Christ who strengthens me. Ibig sabihin, it's okay kung nahihirap ka. It's okay kung hindi mo kaya. Because there's another scripture sa Bible that says, sabi to, that God's strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. Sa Tagalog po, kapag mahina po tayo, siya nagkakaroon ng pagkakataon ng Diyos upang ipakita na siya ay malakas at buhay na buhay sa ating buhay. Amen po ba? So from now on, if you want to feel important, mahalaga, run back to your source. Stop running towards people. I remember, ito po, full disclosure lang po, a, a bit of a vulnerability. Na, naalala ko po many, many years ago sa isang Starbucks cafe kung siya uh, na inibita po ako to just be with some friends. I remember asking them their opinion. Sabi ko, ano ba, ano ba guys? Ano ba guys yung sa tingin nyo dapat kong pag-uwi sa akin sa rin? Kasi pili ko, parang meron pa akong dapat i-improve. Kasi diba dati kasi yung, yung, yung personality ko was this, yung, alam niyo yung bilik sa akin sa akin na musya na talaga akong formal. Alam niyo yung formal? Na kapag may lalapit sa akin, pagbibay. <laughs> Ganun daw. So sa, oh, pwede naman ako na, ano ba yung dapat kong gawin, etc. etc. So, what, what was my point in sharing this to you? Back then, I didn't know who I was. Kaya ginagawa ko, I was desperate to know who I was to the point I was asking soliciting opinions of people. Ano pa sa tingin nyo ang dapat kong gawin? Ano ba dapat kong baguhin? Pag sa akin naman, ano observation nyo sa akin? Mali pa yun! You can do that. You can do that. Pero ano lang yun? Extra, extra na lang yun. Pag dapat, ang unang natin tatakbuhan when it comes to Lord, sino ba ako? Ano ba dapat kong baguhin sa ating sarili? Dapat ang tatakbuhan natin. Number one, numero uno, ay walang iba kong DC, Lord. Okay, at alam niyo ba yung personality niyo was designed in such a way your personality, your attitude niyo, the way you carry yourselves by your friends, you should know that God designed it that way because your personality mo yan will be used by the Lord for you to do a particular task that no one else can do. Case in point, no, ako pa lumakit ng bagay with my mom recently, meron po akong attorney in the meet. Tapos, ang person, ang ganda lang, ang ganda niyo po, ang ganda niyo magsalita. Ano naman, meron po, meron po, meron po, meron po, meron po, Sabi ko, ay, bakit na lang siya mag-attorney? Kasi, kasi napaka-smart niya. Ang smart niya magsalita. Tapos, alam mo yung parang may class, kaya hindi siya nag-jojo, ang witty. Sabi ko, bagay yung personality niya sa kanyang naging trabaho. 
Because even so, if he's supported by her, he can, through the power of words, he can miss. Na alala ko kasi kapit na meron daw siya na ipadalang case. Alam niyo yung labor case. Di ba? Sa ang labor case is, please kasi sa namin niya ha, na kapag ikaw ay isang employer, tapos hindi mo na nilabag mo yung labor code na hindi mo na siguro. Di ba may mga rights, ano yung mean, rights yung mga employee, employees mo? Na kapag hindi mo na-respeto mo yun, pwede kang kasuhan. Di ba? Kasuhan na kapag yung employer, hindi mo ginawa ang trabaho mo ng pangalagaan sila. Pero sa akin itong, itong mga attorney, na napaka-wiki, napaka-smart. Sabi niya na, dahil sa ginawa niya ng stunts, ng personality, naghanap siya ng angulo para may panalo yun. At uh, sabi nga niya na, naipanalo niya yung case. Dapat, dapat, ito ha, by default, dapat talo na. Kasi, ay, nilabag ko yung labor code, yung ganyan niya, dapat talo ka na. Pero ang ginawa niya, humanap siya, humanap siya ng butas. At sabi niya, ang angulo niya was this, na siya ay yung forwarder. At hindi siya nakakaiti din ng English. So, humanap siya ng angulo at naipanalo niya ang kaso na supposedly at the offset, talo na. So, what's my point to share this word? Because yung personality niya, witty, good with words, ang galing mong salita, ang galing mong pagbentuhan. Therefore, whatever your, your attitude, your personality, your skills mo, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, is largely how God designed you to do a particular advice sa uh, siguro of my 10-year-old younger self. I would say, alam mo, PJ, huwag ka maging desperado na baguhin ang sarili mo. Huwag ka maging cool at uh, based sa iyo. Diba? Sa sinasabi mo ito, because the disciple of PJ ni Lord, okay, na maging ganyan because gagamitin kita as a speaker. Diba? So, I don't, whatever it is you, you have about quirks mo, yung mga weird, weird stuff mo, embrace it. Embrace it. Sabi mo, this is ha- this is me. Of course, there's room for improvement. I- embrace mo natin yan. But overall, embrace you. Can, you. can we do this together? Tap your shoulder, ganito. Sabi mo, you, you're doing good. You're doing good. Okay na niya, kapatid. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're okay. Okay? Hindi ka perfect. Yes, I know. But you're doing good. Ang grabe na ipapagawa si Lord na napakaganda. Na through you. Amen po ba? Ito na lumilipad na ako, pero nasa step 2 pala. Mga step 2 pala, that's step 2. And then po, point number 2. Your potential is greater than you can ever imagine. My friends, can I challenge you? I feel kasi na, na sometimes we put age as a limit. Okay, but from now on, I'd like to wake up some of these sleeping souls and tell you, no matter what your age is, there is still something new. Bago po, ni paggawa si Lord sa iyo. All you have to do is to say, Yes, Lord, willing po ako. Maraming stories ko may makita sa Google, sa YouTube. Stories of people who started businesses at a later age. Okay, so kung kayo po, even kung senior na po kayo, my dear friends, okay, instead of saying retirement, you were the retirement, pag sinabi natin retirement kasi ibig sabihin niyo po, stop working. Let's do whatever then. Ganun mo retirement eh. Pero can, can I challenge you to change that mindset na at the age of a senior ka na ako, retired na ako. Just say to yourself, instead of retiring, I will just rest. Okay? Because when you say rest, palangalian yan. And you will, after resting, you will go up again and do the very thing na pinapagawa ni Lord sa iyong buhay. 60 years old naman, 70, even 80. Si Queen Elizabeth nga, di ba? At 90 plus, hindi ang tawag mo si Queen Elizabeth? 98 po ba? 99 po? 96 po? O oh, di ba po, Queen Elizabeth? Until her 96, 96 birthday, di ba po, ang reign as queen? At ito po kanina, I just found out, alam po ba si Queen Elizabeth? May story po na lumabas. I hope you will appreciate this about her. Na meron daw po na preach about uh, the coming of Christ. Diba po? Sabi daw ni Queen Elizabeth, I can't wait na, I, sabi niya, I can't wait na makita ko in my lifetime yung coming of Christ. Tapos tinan- tinanong na uh, yung minister niya, what makes you say that? Sabi daw ni Queen Elizabeth, so that I can lay my crown before him. Diba? Queen na yun, ha? Queen sa mundong ito. Pero na-appreciate niya yung fact na yung kanyang pagiging royalty is temporary. And the pinaka-ultimate goal natin lahat is to lay our crowns, 
whatever crowns it may be, lipid ang mga crown, or whatever achievements you have, lay it down before the Lord. Di ba may scripture po sa Bible? Sabi po doon, teach us to number our days so that we may live a life of wisdom. Di ba po? Teach us to number our days. So, ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, i-estimate nyo. Estimate nyo na. Siyempre, ang prayer po natin is to live a long life. Tama po ba? Na umabot tayo kasi kasi nga, sige yan, nalasugan mo pa nga, hundred sa atin nga, may benefit na po for 100 years old, it may makukuha ko something from the government, but I'm not sure. But anyway, what is my point? Countless number of days, ilan po na po tayo? Ako po, turning 35 this September 14. Okay po, so tumatanda na, kinikalculate ko nga po ang aking buhay, sabi ko, 35, so ilang years na lang, kasi senior na ako. Okay, after kung nag-senior ako, ano pang lago di ko kaya? And then po, i-imagine ko po eh. Which makes me conscious now of my time. Kung dati po ako ay I waste time, now I treasure every time. I may not be perfect, di ba? Minsan na sobrang dami kong ginagawa, I lose track of time. But, you know, I I look at myself. I-improve ko po ako sa lili. How do you value and cherish time? So let me ask you, kayo po ba? Are you valuing your remaining moments in this world? Have you discovered, na ba, yung pinapagawa ng other thing ni Lord para sa iyo? Kung hindi pa, I challenge you, no matter what your age is, tatanin mo si Lord, Lord, may papagawa ka pa ba? Kasi Lord, kung meron, here I am, use me. Amen. Nako, ako mga kapatid, huwag na natin sayangin ang buhay. Amen. Kaya silang niya. Okay. Kung paggamit na po tayo sa ating Panginoon, there's more to life than wealth and riches. Okay, yung mga, yung mga yaman na yan, all good tools yan na gagawin ang ipapagamit sa atin ni Lord upang hindi palag, talagang palaganap or palagugin ang kahalaan po ng Diyos dito sa lupa. Use it wisely. Your wealth, your time, your resources, whatever it is, your skills and talents. Amen. Amen! Amen. So your potential is greater than you can ever imagine. Mula na yun, mga kapatid. Huwag mo na ilinahan ang iyong sarili. Which brings me to my next point. Point number three. Potential is determined by the demands made on it. Ito ba yung na-discuss ko pa nila? Ito ba yun? Ito ba ito? Bago ba ito? Bago po. Medyo nag-aalang aking points. But again, potential is determined by the demands made on it by its creator. Ibig sabihin, sisihan ko na lang. Ito yan. Kapag sinabi ni Lord na gawin mo itong anak, ibig sabihin, alam niya na kaya mo. Kaya mo. Amen? Ulitin ko po ha, parang hmm, kailangan mo, grasp po natin ito. Kapag sinabi si Lord ni Lord sa'yo, anak, magpatawag ka na. Ibig sabihin, kaya mo. Ayaw mo lang gawin. Pero kaya mo. Amen? Kapag sinabi ni Lord, anak, buksan mo ang puso mo, magmahal ka. Masasaktan ang puso ko. I-hurt na naman. Hindi ko ba di ka-advantage to me? Ang magkabalita na naman. Ayaw ko na. Ang magkakaw na uwin yung past. Hello? Kaya mo. Ayaw mo lang doon. Okay? So, eto. Magpapakisip tayo ka. Ano ma ang tinitiman ni Lord sa iyo? Ibig sabihin, kaya mo yan, kapatid. Pag sinabi ni Lord, patawad ka na. Nagpatawad ka na. Pag sinabi ni Lord, give. It will be given unto you. Give, because I love the Lord. Give the capacity to give. If you say, I love the Lord, go and make disciples. Lord, shy up. Hindi ang puro na masinta. I love the Lord, go. Give, because I love the Lord. Kaya mo. Case in point, ito po nakatayo dito. Napaka mahiyain. Panggalin niyo po yung mic sa akin. Napaka tahin ko lang po. Pero pag pinigay niyo sa akin, alam kasi ni Lord, na kaya po. Kaya, sige Lord, sabi mo Lord, sinusunod lang ako. Nasyo ako. Kaya na. I-savor nyo po ito, ha? I-savor nyo yan. Matanin nyo yan. Mapa-apply nyo sa inyong buhay. Amen po ba? Point number four. I like this. If you can think it, you can do it. If you can think it, you can do it. The power of thoughts. Remember what I preached last Sunday. Diba? As a man thinketh in his heart, So is he. Di ba scripture na? Hindi po gawa-gawa yun. That's a Bible po yun. Di ba po? So ibig sabihin, whatever you think about yourself will determine what you will do. Kapag iisip nyo na hindi ko kaya yan, hindi mo talaga.
talaga kaya yan. Okay? But, kapag sinabi mo na, kaya ko to. Mahirap man ba? Kaya ko to. Guess what? Konting tiis, konting persistence, konting grit, di ba? Konting push na, eventually, if you don't give up, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, sige, talo sa mga Galatians 6, 9, let us not be weary in doing good at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9, kaya mo yan, you will reap what you have sown if you do not give up. So keep planting thoughts in your head na kaya mo to, kaya mo to, kaya mo to. Okay? Break that glass, that invisible glass that is stopping you from reaching your potential. Sa Tagalog po, ano man yung pumipingin sa'yo? Basahin mo na yan! Dahil kaya mo yan through Christ. Amen! Amen! Woo! I don't know about you, but I'm gonna let it fly! Woo! Jesus! Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, point number four, and we'll have to put time with the boss. Point number five, your potential is everything you need to dominate every bad habit or addiction. Oh, I love this. Example, okay, we're gonna try a kind of basic example now. Ano ba yun? Let's say bad habit. Ano ba bad habit? Okay. Let's say um, smoking. Okay. Actually, wala nung sinabi sa Bible na bawal ka mong smoke. Di ba? Wala nung steer scripture na don't smoke. Wala nung sinabi doon. Sabi lang, gentlemen, lang, take care of your bodies. Your body is the devil of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so, kaya yun na yan. Discretion na yan kung gagawin yun. Okay. But we all know based on science, di ba po? Siyensya, sabi po doon, that if you keep on smoking, ang mangyayari sa atin ito. Based on science, ha? Magkakaroon tayo yung potential na magkaroon ng lung cancer. Diba po? Kaya ano mga mga sakit sa baga? If we persistently do it, siyensya po yan, science-based. Okay. So, the thing is, Oh, Pastor BJ, ang hirap ma-overcome ang smoking. Or, let's, okay, medyo ano yung smoking, baka mabigat na tayo. Let's start maging late lang. Huwag <laughs> natawa ako kasi, Isyo ko nung yan, pagiging late, diba po? Minsan ang kotag namin dito sa church, nine. Minsan, may time na, past nine na ako na nakarating. But, we're a work with Shepherd Progress. Nag-improve po tayo, amen? Well, my point is this. Ano ba ang inyong struggle? Ano ba yung kainaan natin? Here's the thing. Your potential is everything you need to dominate it. Ibig sabihin, ganito po yan. Pag sinabi ng Lord that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, you can do it. Quit smoking, in Tagalog, hindi ko kaya pigilan ang ating sarili na mag-smoke. Sabihin mo, hindi ko pa na pag-decision. Hindi ko pa na pag-decision. Decision na, yun. In English, I still haven't made a choice. But the moment I make a choice, I can do it. Through Christ, it strengthens you. Amen? So, mula ngayon, Ano mang bad habit niya, okay. ano mang addiction niya, panunood ng mga bagay na hindi mo dapat panuorin, pakikinig ng mga bagay na hindi mo dapat pakinggan, pagiging late, pagiging, you know, uh, sa pagkain, pagiging matahaw, etc. Ano man niya, whatever struggles, here's the thing. You still haven't made a decision, but the moment you make a decision, God will give you grace and strength. Amen po ba? Amen! You have what it takes, but you... Kaya mo yan. Ha? The moment na mag-struggle ka, sabi mo, kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. Okay. Bukas, yung hindi pa na po, isakit na pa mga pagpapalita tayo ko lang muna. Kasi, si Pamis yun na, gusto mo hindi pa sa ating lahat. Ayan po. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And last but not least, point number six. The wealth of your potential is so rich, it requires a lifetime to bring it all out. Ooh! Huh? Ibig sabihin, ako at my age, pag na 35 na ako, I haven't met yet PJ version 10.0. Ngayon, as a PJ version 2.0 pa lang ako. I can't wait to meet PJ version 10.0. Sino kaya yung PJ na yun? Siguro yung PJ na yun, yung tipong 
Sobrang bless na yung Lord to the point na nag-bless na siya ng ibang tao. No? I can't wait to meet to meet that PJ. For the meantime, habang kinokorek ko pa yung mga issues ko sa aking buhay, I have a goal, a vision, and a plan para unti-unti I'm gonna get there from PJ version 2.0 to version 10.0. Hindi nyo pa po na may ang sarili nyo na ibang version. So I challenge or encourage you, don't give up on yourself. Patawarin mo ang iyong sarili every time you make a mistake. Hug yourself if you can at night. Wala mo magkahat sa iyo because no one can understand you the way you do. Okay? Encourage yourself. Sabi mo, I am man. Okay? It takes a lifetime. Sabi mo, isang mga story nga si Dr. Miles Monroe na meron daw pa sa isang funeral. Alam mo diba, may nagbibigay sa dalang eulogy. Now, meron doon sa eulogy na yun, uh, may parang flyer effect pa sila nga. Sa, sa paper, nilagay yung accomplishments ng tao na matay sa isang paper. Naka two page, two pages, okay? Alam mo ba yung sinabi ni Dr. Miles Monroe? Two pages na, ang nakalagay. Actually, that person could have done more. At hindi nga lang na isulat pa. Ibig sabihin, may mga potential tayo na natutulog pa. So, mga kapatid, ano ba yung natutulog na talent nyo? Kisingin nyo na. At kapag kinisig na ni Lord, simulan mo na. Step one, so now it's a step one. It takes a hundred steps, a thousand steps. Don't worry, don't fret. Just take step number one. So, so then yeah, step two, step three, step four. Okay, improve. Okay, amen po ba? And I will end with this story. Mga naman may no points. May points na naman ba? Sorry. And I hope may encourage you for you. Last September 7, which was uh, last Wednesday, Nasa bagay mo kami because we celebrated po yung birthday ng ating kapatid na si Sarah. And we had a very unusual conversation. Ang pag-usap po namin revolved around, syempre, about life, etc. Pero, nung bigyan na twist yung conversation namin, sabi niya, Kuya TJ, do you remember yung meeting ni Evans na nung ikaw, yung ikaw ay fourth year high school at ako ay first year high school? Kuya, kuya! That was the first time I saw you dance. And when I saw you, Kuya, yeah, when I saw you dance, I was like, Kuya, because in the house, I didn't see you dance. But in the meeting, I was like, I ran for student council president in my high school, fourth year ago. So in the meeting, I was like, Kuya, you can dance? You can dance? I was like, Kuya, you can dance? I was like, Kuya, Di ba may dream ka maging singer? Kuya, nandiyan pa rin ba yung desire? Sabi ko, oo. Kuya, alam mo ba, si Sarah Geronimo. Si Sarah Geronimo. Meron siyang bagong music video. Na siya ang mismo ang nag-direct ng video na yun. At kuya, pinanood niya sa akin yung sabi yung video ni Sarah Geronimo. Kuya, ang galing niya! Lahat ko, napakaganda. Lahat ang feedback yung comments sa YouTube video na yun. Nagsinapas na, wow, sana G1 class. Sabi niya, Kuya, all these times, si Sarah Geronimo pala, noon, yung nakikita natin yung Sarah Geronimo na sa movies lang yung, ah, oh, you know, Chalo, I think, kaya gano'n na. Yung mahihayang tipong pabeta girl na effect, ano yung po ba? Ano yung pala sumayaw? And all that, and napaka-talented. Kuya, ano po ba? Ikaw din na yun. Kuya, tapos may sinabi siyang word, Kuya, you are like a supernova. What? Supernova? Saan ko na po ulo niya ng dictionary niya? Supernova? Supernova? Pero alam ba ka alam ako supernova? It's a star. Shine so bright! Shine so bright! Shine so bright! Sabi niya, Kuya, the moment na you start believing in yourself, okay, the talent I saw in you, Kuya, when you danced in fourth year high school, why not bring it out? Use it. Kuya, dream mo di ba maging ano ka, magbubod si Gary B? Kuya, time will come na hindi lang siya throwback. Time will come. It will happen. So, that conversation opened my sabi ko, Okay, I'm 30, 45. I've tried auditioning, etc. And I failed several times. Pero when Sarah said that at my age, sabi ko, There's more to life. May potential ako eh. Why did God give me a singing voice for me to just hide it? Gusto ni Lord, kapit ko to to glorify Him all over the world. All over the world. 
So I may be singing right now in a small box place, but the way I see myself now is this is just a stepping stone for something bigger and greater. Now that's just my life story, but I know a must extra special life story for Sagasa in you. Don't stop despite, of, despite your age or in spite of your age. Don't stop dreaming. Don't stop believing. Ask God tonight, what do you want me to do? In tinuro ko sa last Sunday, na you write it down. And then by faith, as you commit your plans to the Lord, sabi sa Bible, your plans will succeed. Now, love so about you. Alam ko na hurt ka ng mundo. Alam ko people have disrespected you, devalued you. Pero God is telling you right now, and you're more than a supernova. The Bible says you are the apple of His eye. Whatever your needs are, God sees it. Okay? You have been hurt, but now it's time for that heart to be healed. Start believing again. Start doing things again. Mighty exploits for the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every heart in this place, Panginoon. Ano ba na mga potential namin na natutulog, Panginoon? Isiyan mo, Panginoon. And sabi niyo sa inyo, word, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So Jesus, this is our prayer, O oh God. Palakasin niyo po kami, hindi namin kaya. But Lord, dahil sinabi mo na kaya namin, we believe in you, that through you, we can do all things. Lord, if there are people in this place na wounded na mga puso, people in this place na may mga pangangailan, Pag-physical mo niya, healing sa aming mga physical na katawan. May mga sakit-sakit ba sa parte ng aming katawan? Mayroon mga broken mga emotions, mga emotional trauma sa aming mga puso, or mga twisted thoughts sa aming isipan. Lord, I'm in the name of Jesus, we speak healing, healing of God. I pray for healing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray for breakthroughs, mindsets to be open, bodies to be healed, Provisions to be provided for them in Jesus' name. Lord, we believe. We believe you. We believe you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, open my heart. Open my heart to you.